Oh, turn the slide off. All right. Look at this. Look what I brought you all tonight. A little visual aid. Let's see. Let's get him on camera here. Get him close. Hello there. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Hey, my name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws, and this is our Wednesday night edition of uh, of Wednesday Night Live. On Wednesdays, we always draw something. We draw a portrait. And why isn't this showing up here? Oh, there it is. Okay, so um, my name is Kurt, and I just want to say thanks to everyone for showing up. Uh, let's see, who we got? We had Jacqueline's waiting around, and Lynn is there. Leah is here. Great. We got a nice, nice way to start here with a bunch of people. So always happy to have a bunch of people live to chit chat and to enjoy our air conditioning in the house is ramped up right now. So I had to actually put a little, little something extra to keep me warm. <laughs> I hope it's cool wherever you're at right now because boy, this is crazy, isn't it? But it is summertime. Well, hey, um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Down in the links, uh, you are going to find a link if you're brand new to drawing or you really want to enhance your skills. I've got a great class called Beginner's Workshop Part A. I would check that out. We also have a very robust, very active Facebook group. And there's a link in the description for that as well. And I would encourage you to jump on board. Oh, midwinter here. All right. Oh, well, you're down in Australia, Jacqueline. Huh? Wow. I totally, I know. This is, I never get used to knowing where everybody that people all over the world are tuning in. I mean, it's, it's quite remarkable, right? I mean, what a, what a time to be alive. So anyhow, um, we have, uh, New Zealand. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. So, um, anyways, I just want to welcome everybody. Thanks for being here. Um, I went down in the basement and I have a little skull. There it is right there. And I want to I want to talk about this before we before we get started. You know, in our and you can see the picture there in our in our drawing tonight. We're going to be drawing a face straight on. Thing is when the great thing about when you draw a face straight on, the sides are really flat. So it almost instead of drawing a round sphere you could almost get away with drawing a square, a rectangle. And I think that's what we're going to do tonight. All right, we're going to kind of take more of an angular approach to this drawing. Of course, if you turn the head on a profile side, that's when you get the really roundness that it's going on. And then when you uh, take it to a three quarter, okay, this is where it gets, starts getting a little bit harder because you, you're combining straights and curves. Okay, so Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to start and kind of show you some of the steps that we go through when we draw. I had a little conversation with somebody today about the process that I show. Um, and really, you know, it, it, it gives you the skills and enables you to draw ahead from any position. So let's just quickly go through this here. And uh, what I want you to do is start off with three spheres. This is always nice to start off this way, warm ourselves, warm up and, and kind of uh, get ready here. So the approach that I take to, to drawing heads goes, well, goes like this. There's three key steps. There's finding the 2D axis, finding the 3D axis, and then the position of the face, all right? And this is good to review every time so that uh, we get this down, all right? So what do I mean by this? Well, let me show you an example here. Let's say, let's say this is my head here, I'm looking, and I, and I have a post, and I, I put that post inside the top of my head. You see that? And we're going to use that to kind of evaluate which way I'm turning. So the first thing I want to determine is the 2D axis. Am I leaning the head to the right? Or is the head leaning to the left? Do you see that? So that's the first thing. So we're going to call this A, B, and C. All right. So A, let's go ahead and say that the axis, the head is tilting a little bit to the right there. And B, we'll say it's 
tilting a little bit to the left. And then C, we'll, we'll say it's also tilting slightly to the right as well, okay? What do you mean by 3D? Oh, great question, Lynn. So, so that's our next step. Our next step is going to be 3D. So if I, if I tilt my head a little bit to the right, then that's the 2D axis, okay? It's, it's like a, it's, it's like a um, if you think of this, you know, if, if you have a gas gauge, you know, or a clock, you know, if, if the hands of the clock are over here or over here, this just goes back and forth, you see? So 2D is if the head is leaning to the right or to the left. So if I, if I get to the right, right to the right, the 3D is right along this, is the head coming forward toward me or is the head following away? That's the 3D. It's coming toward you or it's following away, all right? It's still on this 2D axis. That's the next question we have to ask ourselves. So look at A. So we'll say that, that A is coming towards us, all right? So that little, that little marker would be coming uh, in the top of the head. And the way that we can indicate that is that if we draw our brow line and we're just going to draw an oval like this, you see this? Like an equator almost. Great question, by the way. On B, let's say let's say this head, let's just say this head is turning away from us. So in this case, I'm going to be kind of looking up at it. So I'm going to do something like this. And in case C, let's say we're looking straight, almost straight at the face. So it's neither tilting forward nor back. It's just straight up. All right. And we could just do something like this. And Lynn, if that didn't answer your question, just ask me another one. Okay. So that's our, we've established our 2D axis. We've established a 3D axis in this. And now let's decide where the face is going. So what happens here? Let me show you. This, this is up, this is coming out of my head. If I lean to the right, there's the 2D axis. Now if I lean forward, that's the 3D axis. And then along this, my head can point in different directions. You see that? All right, so that's for us to decide. So on, on A, let's say our head was going to be in this direction or where we were going to face it in this direction. So we would come down like this and that's going to be our center line. The center line is the center line in front of the face, just like this. Okay. In B, let's, let's say this, this head was, this face is pointing in this direction. So then we're going to come down like this. All right. That's the center line. And in C, let's say the center line is going to be right there, okay? And this is going to curve around a little bit. Now we now I show you this so that when you are, I mean, the idea is that you in the long term, you want to be able to draw from your imagination. So by using this method, it allows you to draw the head from any possible position. If we just drew straight on all the time, that's all you're going to know. But this gives you all the tools you need to have the complete freedom. It's a little bit harder up front to learn, but it will pay off in spades in the long run. Okay, let's continue now. Let's get our face. So after I've just determine which direction my face is pointing, I want to find my temples. Okay, my temples, you can feel them with your fingers, are on the outer edge of your uh, eyebrows. Okay, so temple is going to be right about here. And it's going to be right, right about there. It's probably a little bit, a little bit further out than that. Here, it's going to be right there. And it's going to be up there. And I'm just guesstimating this. On C down here, it's going to be right about there, and it's going to be right about out there.
So now you may have heard some point like where the T of the face. The T of the face is, is the line that connects the two, goes through the brow line, connects the two temples, and then a center line like this, and it will form a T. So let me show you that. So look right here. This is going to be slightly curved. It's going to come down. There's, there's the letter T right there. You see that? Over here, we're going to curve this around slightly because it's following the circumference of the face. And this T is going to come down just like that. That's the T of the face. And then this guy over here is going to be slightly curved. And this is also going to come down just like that. Almost like the Mandalorian, right? <laughs> just like his helmet almost. Okay. Next thing we want to do, and if I go too fast, just just shout out and I'll slow down, okay? Um, if I go to the temple and I want to slice off the side of the head so that, you know, when we look at a skull, you know, it's flat. So as it turns, we're going to start to see the flat side of the head. All right. So here on A, I'm going to draw like I sliced off a piece. You see that? I sliced off that piece of the sphere. Up here on B, we'll do it again. All right. And this is just somewhat guessing. And then letters on C, same thing. We're going to just do something like that. Okay. Where we sliced off, we want to add a surface line that's going to parallel the center line. Just like that. Same thing up here on B. Uh, and same thing down here on C. C. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, over here on A. All right, so this side is, we're going to, it's going to have a little bit of a straight line now. Straight, because we've sliced off that side as well. Any guidelines about placing the slice? Mm, good question. Um, if if you if you if you have a sphere and you just sliced off a part of that sphere, so you know if if you're looking straight on if you were looking straight on the sphere here. And you sliced off this and sliced off that that's what you would be left so uh, I would Jacqueline uh, it's a feeling <laughs> I know you don't want to hear that just these are these are these what I'm showing you here is just eventually you won't even draw these things because they will be in your head okay but at this point as you're doing this just take your best guess um, sometimes like look at this one here this one is quite large compared to this one okay so uh, you're just kind of going through the process of trying to visualize how this thing looks yeah you'll, you'll it will I don't do that when I draw a portrait I'm thinking of these things and I visualize them but I don't actually put them on paper all right I do it for you guys because we're learning that's why all right let's go to the bottom here and we're going to drop this down just a little bit. This is going to be like your jaw dropping down just a little bit. And then we're just going to swing it around here. And this is going to come into the bottom part of our head. I'm just going to curve that around at the bottom. All right. Same thing over here. We're going to drop this down a little bit and swing it around. Come over here and swing that around as well. We're just trying to give you guys a basic foundation of what the what the basic head will look like. Drop this down just a little bit there and swing that around. 
This is the, this is the swinging of the jaw coming down, okay? And we could do it to the other side as well. So watch what I do on A. Now I'm going to adjust my A because I know that this is a little elongated. So, you know, I'm just going to, this really is right here my skull shape. All right. And this back here. There's my skull shape there. And back here as well. Roughly, roughly something like that, and this is this is this is essentially what we've just drawn here, without the features, just the, just the rough, just the rough shape is all we're looking for here. The the mass, the big volume. I'm going to show you just a couple more things, and then we're going to actually get on our portraits. So this would be a good. This is this little process that I just showed you is a good exercise to try over and over again. Last thing I want to show you is is getting the visor. The visor is the part of the eyes that come in and then they go down into the cheek. And let me show you that. We're going to come in with a little bit of an angle there, a little bit of an angle. Let's come up here and do the same thing. Angle. Angle. And over here, angle. Okay, straight across, we're going to connect those. Connect those. You know, when I first started really studying how to draw a portrait using this method, man, I, I just did this over and over and over again until it really sunk in. Let's get the, uh, let's get the cheek area here. And again, it's just another angle. Goes like that. Same thing down here now. And then over here as well. Now I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, that's, we're gonna move over to our portrait now, but I just, I want you, I'm gonna, gonna draw, I'm gonna draw, uh, let's see, I just woke up at 2 a.m. Oh my goodness, I'm checking up on you. Oh, Mariana, what are you doing? Sleeping, we're getting up in the middle of the night. <laughs> All right, watch what I do with the letter, watch what I do with A here, and just watch, and then you can uh, come back if you're interested and, uh, try this out for yourself all right so uh, I just want to show you so I'm going to erase this center line there just like that and so this center now this is coming like that you see that and then ultimately what's going to happen is this is going to be my nose you see my nose is going to rest right there and then I'm going to put my eye right there and right over there. And then behind this, we're gonna have the ball of the mouth and we'll, we'll go into detail, but I just kinda of wanna show you then my chin, if I put it down here for you, then you could come back later and look at it. You could uh, look, watch the rewind a little bit. And then the corners of my mouth and there's his mouth, just like that. And then the last thing I would put back here is my ear. The ear sits 
in the bottom, in this bottom area right there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it that. I'm gonna clear my page now and we'll start with our drawing, all right? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so let's, let's for fun, um, let's do a quick, let's just kind of think of gesturing here because when we do, when we do, uh, when I do go through a drawing, I have three phases if you wanted. We work on it, we do a gesture, we do construction, And then we go to detail. And remember when you're drawing anyone's portrait, don't ever try and get their likeness. Focus on their construction. If you, can, if you focus on the construction of the face, the likeness will just snap into place without even trying, okay? So, All right, here we go. So first thing I'm going to do is is uh, let's let's start off with a, a little bit of a sphere. You know what? We're, we're going to do a square actually. So I'm just going to gesture the overall shape. This is what I'm going with right here. Now. I only go with this if I'm looking at a face straight on. This is this is what I will do. I will usually start with more of a square than a sphere. We could we could we will round it off a little bit later, but it's more flat than anything else. And let's go ahead and drop an eye line in. I mean a, a brow line. The brow line is going to be right right through the brow, okay? Right through the brow. Let's also get a center line in here. So back to our 2D, 3D and face placement, you know, the the 2D is straight up and down. The 3D is straight up and down and the face placement is straight at us. <laughs> So we really don't need in this one in this one scenario we really don't need to uh, add those extra things. Okay, so we're up here. Let's let's go ahead then and just mark where our little where our two temples are gonna go. Hey, Russell, you just you just showed up just just in time, my friend. We just started getting to the good stuff. So let me show you now on uh, on our picture here. So the temples are going to be right about there, okay? The other mark, then I want to determine where that bottom part of his nose. So if if you wanted to look at this, there's that distance. So that, that's the type of proportion I'm looking for. So let's see if we can kind of guesstimate that. And I'm gonna go with just about there, okay? In fact, I could probably even go just a little bit longer, but we'll go with that. All right, we got the temple here, let's Let's just put in a couple, uh, you know, this, this, this is going to be somewhat flat right along that temple there because it's, so I'm just going to curve around just a bit. And these are all very loose lines. Now, remember that we were talking about the visor. Look at the visor here right there to right there. So what we're going to do next is we're going to draw something like this. And then we're going to come down like this. 
and it's going to come right underneath the nose. All right, so let's do that on our drawing. So I'm going to come down right about there. Draw this lightly. These are just starting to work on our construction. Okay, that's the visor. Alright, next thing. And if I go too fast, just just say slow down and I'll slow it down, okay? Let's look for the barrel of the mouth. Now the barrel of the mouth is going to be right below the bottom part of the nose. It's going to go right to the edges of the, uh, the lips. So it's going to be something like this. Okay, and let's go ahead and put that in. Again, draw it really light. And this is what I mean by the barrel of the mouth. Look at this. Look at look how look how round that is. That's the barrel. Okay. And this morning when we uh, in the daily draw, I was showing how to draw lips. And so when we work with lips, those lips have got to go around the the roundness, the barrel of the mouth. Okay. Next next thing we got to add to this is the chin. So we're just going to add a chin just like that. This is all construction. Once we once we get these ideas down, you're going to be really amazed how it all snaps together. All right, let's let's kind of estimate where our ears are going to go and I could see I could see the top of my ear there. That's that's kind of lining up right with the right above right in the middle there and there's my other ear. It's like we're almost right at the eye line. Bottom of the ear lines up with the bottom of the nose, almost. You see that? And that's something to always remember. That's a great, great thing to put in the back of your brain. Remember, the bottom of the ear lines up with the bottom of the nose. The top of the ear typically lines up with the either the eyes or the brow line, okay? So I'm going to come out here, and look at that. I just angles down there angles down a little bit right we're gonna we're gonna curve all this out we're just getting a, a better map of what's going on here it's all about construction okay <clears throat> Corners of the let's get this let's kind of get this mouth in so look for the corners it's going to be just about right there and we're just going to put a straight straight line going across Now the last thing I'm, I'm looking at here is I'm, I'm looking at this distance and it's almost, those are almost equal right there, okay? So let's, let's kind of use that as a guide. And it's going to come down. I'm just going to like 
grab his hairline there just a little bit. Okay. Once you the jaw lines up with the mouth, the corner of the jaw, look. Russell, I brought out my little skull for you today. What do you think of that? <laughs> look, look, the corner of the jaw right here lines up with the mouth, okay? Lines up with the mouth. So this is where the corner, that's where the corner of the jaw is, and we're just going to bring that around on the other side as well. We're going to bring that around. Typically, the, the width of the neck is exactly the same width as the head, okay? So we could just drop his neck straight down like this. <clears throat> and then his jacket, look at this, this is like a giant oval, you see this? Let's. Let's just kind of put this in as a there is this there is oval there coming in. Almost like a spacesuit. And look, look carefully here. Look, look at this shoulder. This shoulder is coming in over there where this one up here is a little bit higher. <clears throat> all right, we have all those pieces in place. There you go, okay. Eight centimeters high. Excellent. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead now. I'm gonna I'm going to erase all of my uh, guides here. Now, typically, what is happening as I'm drawing this, I'm thinking of those guides all the time in the back of my head. So, as you're practicing, use those things, draw them over and over and over again, and then. Over time, you will, they will just become second nature to yourself and you, will, you won't need to go with them. But for, the, for, for, the, for starting out here, put those guides down. They will help you, um, help you really kind of get the structure down. Okay, let's, let's start with his nose here because that's a good place to start, right? And we're going to start with the, the tip and build out, all right? So... I'm just going to start with this little tip like this. A uh, a tie, a man, uh, a nose can be like a man's tie. Let me show you that. That's a good. This is a great example. You usually have like the gabella here. You could watch it all. Like the top of a man's tie. And it goes like this. Can you see that? That's a great shape to remember for men. Or for anyone. Hey, to I'm 53. I only know learning to draw. All right, Laura. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Laura, did you just... Have you been watching from the beginning or just jumped on board here? Welcome. Yeah, there you go. All right. From the start. Oh, you're oh, wonderful. Great. How's it going? Are you doing okay over there? 
How hot is it? Hot? It must be hot. All right, here we go. Let's let's drop an eyeball in. So usually when I put in my eyeballs, I like when I draw eyes, I like to do an eyeball. And your eyeballs will do. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Don't do that. I just made a mistake. Look at that. Let me, let me, let me show you something here. Okay. Corner of the mouth usually lines up with the center of the eye. There, you go. that's better. Corner of the mouth. I knew that looked weird. And I will, I will show this to you over here. Corner of the mouth. This is these are some good good proportions to remember, okay? Corner of the mouth lines up with the center of the eyeball. The wings of the nose, the outside part of the nose lines up with the with the inside part of the eyes. You see this? See how this works? Bam and bam. If I go to the corners, to the center, to the center. Okay, so let's get these, let's get the wings here in our drawing. The wings of his nose, all right? So we're going like this, a little, little circle there, like that. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Look at that. Mariana's chiming in, wishing everybody a nice hello. How are we doing? Okay, we're doing good. We've got 20 minutes. Excellent. Okay, let's let's work on these eyeballs here. So we're gonna put a little. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna put a little. Uh, this is the corner of the eye right there. You see that? And let's be careful about this here. Look, this is the corner of the eye, right? And the other corner is a little bit lower than that. You see that? Like that. So we want to come down just a little bit, just like that. All right, let's let's put the pupil in. Pupil also over here. All right, here we go. Here comes our first little bit of our eyelid. Now, uh, the uh, the outside really drops down. So here we go. Watch. So I'm going to come up, and I'm really going to come down on this guy here. Boom. And the same thing over here. I'm going to come up and really drop it down to the outside. And I can see that my pupil is a little large over there. So we'll, we'll, take, we'll shave off just a little bit off the edge there. Okay. All right, the lower part now is a little bit of an S curve. Look, a little bit of an S curve. And the same thing on the other side, a little bit of an S.
go on the outside. Let's get this eyelid here. It's coming around there. Let's get this eyelid on the outside over here. And then almost a straight line toward the center. can't believe Mariana you're up right now I'm gonna tone it I'm gonna put a slight tone in these eyes just a little bit now let's get these uh, eyebrows in all right so let's, we're gonna come in straight across here we're gonna just like that a little bit of curve on the outside there. Straight in almost. And it almost just follows right in there, just like that. And I'm gonna put a tone on those two. Do the other side now. Look at the bottom of it. It's coming in like this. Outlining the top of it. This is a slight different angle. It looks like he has a little scar that went right through that eyebrow. He's got such awesome bags. <laughs> I love these. All right, let's get these bags in because they really identify who this guy is, and it's it's they're to the outside, so we could do that. And it's almost it just comes down. See that? And the same thing on the other side. <laughs> All right, your hubby's coming home just after midnight. Wow, one of these days we'll have to do these earlier in the. Uh, that's my dream that we could do them earlier in the day, but can't do it yet. Soon though. All right, there's the other bag. Let me, let me show you a trick over here. Not a trick, this is a truth. All right, let's just say this is, this is the tip of my nose. It's kind of round. If you, if you come in and give a nice even tone, and we're gonna do this on ours, and then right, oops. And then right here, darken that in a little bit, that will really give a sense that that has dimension. So if we follow that same pattern over here on the guy's nose here, and we come in here like this, let just an even tone across, even tone. Okay, and then right, right at the top here, right here, just darken that in just a little bit. it will really give a sense that that nose is coming out toward us because we're using uh, a reflective shadow. <clears throat> now, it looks like I put my mouth just a little too low, but that's okay because it, 
have an underdrawing underneath, and now I'm slowly adjusting it, adjusting it so that it it uh, it works, so I can make adjustments. So let's let's kind of get his mustache in here now. Same thing on the other side. The philtrum is a little section. This little inner part right right there. And I'm going to use surface lines. That means I'm following the surface just like this. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Just take your time. Yeah, Laura, your husband's going to come home and, honey, what are you doing? <laughs> and you're like, oh, I found this great group online. We're drawing. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Let's get his lips in here now. And uh, let's just, uh, we're going to start with a slight little letter V. A slight letter V. And then we're going to connect that. And then we're going to darken that up. All right. Let's put a straight line down here for the... Uh, bottom of his lip yeah I definitely stretched mine out but we'll, I'm gonna fix it as I go along here same thing what we did with that mustache we're gonna create this shape here for the beginning of his beard Again, we'll, we'll outline the shape of that his beard down below there. And I'm just going to use some straight lines to create surface. Surface lines. Surface lines are, are this concept. Let me show you. Let's, let's say I had uh, let's say I had this right here. That's a that's a tree trunk, you see that? And and we'll draw another one right here. All right, two tree trunks with the branches branching off. Surface lines are lines that I add around the surface. So if I add lines and do this, this will give the give the suggestion that it's going back in space. Now, if I reverse those, watch what happens. Now this tree looks like it's coming towards us. You see the difference? And then you could use a combination of them as well. You could say like this. And I can do like this. And then I can come like this. So I could... By using adding surface lines, I can give the illusion that one of these objects is going back, other ones coming forward. So when I use those surface lines, that's to draw this beard. That's really what I'm uh, what I'm doing. Okay, I'm drawing the hair to reflect the surface. All right, let's get these ears in now. Right. All right. So top of that ear there, we're gonna draw like a letter C. Okay, it's going to be a C. It's going to come down like this.
and then we're going to draw another one now and this this is going to come now watch this this is important we're going to do like a little hook right there and then come in just a little bit there so what i've just done i've created uh an overlap and that gives this an overlap is like this you see this is in front of that down there because I created this overlap the top part of that ear is in front of the back part of the ear okay let's do another one on the other side here we're gonna start off with the letter C All right, and we're going to come up. And there we go. That should do it there, I think. Okay, and I'm going to come in and just kind of adjust, make some small adjustments here. I'm looking at his hair. When I draw his hair, I'm thinking of mass, not individual strands. See now, now it's starting to come together quite nicely. We can, we can start to get this jawline. Look at that, right there, like this. We can get the jawline over there as well. Get that corner. Probably, I probably gave him too much hair here. All right. <clears throat> All right, now, last step we have to do here is we can start adding some tone. So let's let's think of this. Let's, let's think of, like right now, we're just gonna go with two tones. We're just gonna go with a, a common value. That will be one tone. And the other tone will be the white of the page. All right, so I'm just gonna go in here and start to slowly have one even tone. If I'm gonna separate this whole entire picture by dark and light, where am I going to put these tones? I'm just gonna draw right on top of everything. Even this, even his coat is going to have the same even tone. You know, I, I remember <clears throat> when I'm doing this, I'm, I'm brings back memories of taking art classes. I used to take classes at this place called the Animators Union. It's where they taught animators how to draw in Los Angeles. And uh, man, I can remember just sitting there watching the instructors <laughs> draw. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'll never be able to do that. But look, here we are. 
So, I don't know what you're feeling, but if you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to be able to do that, well, guess what? You will be able to do it, okay? It's just going to take time, and I'm not going anywhere. So, if you stick with us, we'll get it done. We'll get you there, okay? <laughs> Perseverance over talent. Perseverance over talent. Just keep keep that in your mind all right okay good so we got we have that tone down here we're coming up on our hour here so I'm gonna hit up one more thing now I want to I want to go back into this tone that we dropped and go on a darker level let's drop let's go in and where the darkest darks are now okay so I'm gonna really pump it up Just looking for shape. It's pretty, it's pretty dark back here, right? It's also dark back here. And then right, look at it, right here along the edge, I'm going to darken this up just a little bit, just like that. Just right along the edge there. Same thing down here, I'm going to darken this up just a little bit. This is really going to give a sense that there's dimension here. Give your eyelid just a little bit of shadow. Well, that brings up brings us up to our hour. I think if uh, uh, I think I could end here, you should be able to uh, take this to uh, uh, to completion on your own. Hopefully, uh, you could watch the replay if you need to. But that that's basically it love to see your work in our Facebook group so please uh, let's see what do we got going here we got this there we go it's got that button right there right I want to get this in just a little bit Oops, not like that. Oh, all right, I'm gonna quit. <laughs> so, hey, listen, I really appreciate all walking. I appreciate everyone uh, watching and just give it a thumbs up. Come back next week on Wednesday as we draw another portrait. Join our Facebook group, jump into the beginner's workshop part A and uh yeah that's about it so my name's kurt i'm a dad who draws for everyone watching thank you so much 
Uh, let's see. Uh, hey, Joe. Morning. <laughs> Just what? Okay. Joe, watch the replay and then uh, post your work on Facebook. Okay. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night, everyone. Bye-bye.